who should clearly be on some type of ApoB lowering medication or a combination of these medications? The national guidelines have taken a great effort to synthesize the information from large scale cardiovascular outcome trials. They established that there were four basic groups that all quote qualify for lipid lowering therapy. And at the time in 2013, the only strong evidence was for statin therapy. Things have changed since 2013, but that's why it's such a statin based regimen. So those four groups are adults with established cardiovascular disease who've had cardiovascular events in the past, adults with severe hypercholesterolemia in a pattern that's consistent with familial hypercholesterolemia, adult diabetic patients, especially when they have other risk factors for cardiovascular disease. And the rest of us, if we fit into a category where when we calculate the risk over the next decade for a cardiovascular event, that we are worthy of being on medicine, that for us, the benefit of the medicine outweighs the risk. 